friend of mine named Paul received a new car. From his brother is a pre-Christmas present. On Christmas Eve, when Paul came out of his office, a street urchin was walking around, the shiny new car admiring it. Is this your car, mister? he asked. Paul nodded. My brother gave it to me for Christmas. The boy looked astounded. You mean your brother gave it to you and it didn't cost you anything? God, I wish. He hesitated and Paul knew he was going to wish. He was going to wish he had a brother like that. But what the lad said jarred Paul all the way down to his heels. I wish the boy went on that I could be a brother like that. Paul looked at the boy in astonishment, then impulsively added, Would you like a ride in my new car? Oh yes, I would love that. After a short ride, the urchin turned, and with his eyes aglow, said, Mister, would you mind driving in the front of my house? Paul smiled a little. He thought he knew what the lad wanted. He wanted to show his neighbors that he could ride home in a big automobile. But Paul was wrong again. Will you stop right where those steps are, the boy asked. He ran up the steps. And then in a little while, Paul heard him coming back, but he was not coming fast. He was carrying his little polio crippled brother. He sat down on the bottom step and then sort of squeezed right up against him and pointed to the car. There she is, buddy, just like I told you upstairs. His brother gave it to him for Christmas, and it didn't cost him a cent. And someday I'm going to give you one just like that. And then you can see for yourself all the pretty things in the Christmas windows that I've been trying to tell you about. Paul got out of and lifted the little lad into the front seat of his car. The shining-eyed older brother climbed in beside him, and the three of them began a memorial, memorable holiday ride. That Christmas Eve, Paul learned what Jesus meant when he said, It is more blessed to give. Have a good night, everyone. Love, Leo and Bandit.